So I click Awesome It's Free now and it just disappears. There's nothing on the screen. But when I pull up this uh, window that we talked about earlier, let me get it so you can see it on the screen. Shrink it down a little bit. And there it is. Voila. There's my Yahoo thing. So now, see if I can make this a little tiny bit bigger, and I'm sure I can. And I can. Now I'll shrink this up a little bit. Okay. See, I'm going to hit send a message. I'm going to type hello. H-E-L-L-O. -L -L and I hit enter. Great. It sends it. I hit test, and I click on the send button. Does it. Great. Now, I'm going to click enable encryption. Oh, look at that. The button turns on. So cool. Now, I type something else. I'm going to type hello. And I'm going to hit... If I hit send down here, same thing. But if I hit type hello again, but I hit the send down here, this one, what it'll do is it'll do all its mumbo jumbo and it'll go and look in the XML file. Well, actually, it already, it already looked in the XML file before it even drew it, so it has everything in memory. And, um, like, this hand, like, every single one of these little windows inside of here, this one here, the button here, and all this stuff has a, has a little number in, window, in Windows um, system. And so it knows to what all they are, and when I hit this, it'll go through the process of encrypting this message, uh, I'm taking this text, encrypting it, sending it, and then putting it up here, and then looking at whatever's on the screen and displaying it and unencrypting it. See? <laughs> and, of course, I screwed something up. Test. There we go. Test. Ah, uh, well, now you know why it's free. <laughs> so, the cool thing about this is, A, you can, and also, I'm hitting enter, enter works just fine, is A, you can see it working. So I, I do this, and there's no question in my mind that's us being sent across encrypted, and all that gobbledygook is just a hexadecimal string. Uh, that's what someone who's sniffing your network and trying to read your messages is going to see. A uh, guy's in IT, um, NSA, the whatever, KGB, whoever. And, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. And I don't know why it's screwing up like that sometimes. There is something that's really kind of cool. I'm going to show it to you. I don't even think it's, I don't even know if it still works. But there's a secure random key exchange thing, because right now it uses what's called um, synchronous uh, passwords. There's asynchronous and synchronous. Synchronous is something like uh, Blowfish, or which in this case, this is what it's using. It uses Blowfish. And so the password, both of you have to have the exact same password, the exact same right there. If it's not the exact same password, then you're not going to be able to read each other's thing. It'll look, end up looking like, gobble, like that, gobbledygook. So... What you can, but that's not always a good way to do it, and you don't can't always call it call each other on the phone and say, "Hey, our password's going to be dog." So you, you, one of you, just one of you, clicks on secure random. I'm not going to do it because I don't have anybody to test with. One of you clicks on secure random key exchange, and that will send initiate an RSA asynchronous transfer. What that does is it uses a pu public and, and private key pair, and it um, create and it does the whole RSA key exchange. Once it does the RSA key exchange, it exchanges a random password that it uses for here, which is really just a GUID. So it, grab, it makes a random GUID on your system, and that's, and that's the password bef between the two of you. So you do that, it's fit, and you'll see some stuff saying beginning key exchange, key exchange finish, blah, that kind of thing. And if it all worked, you'll see a funky password here, and the other guy will have a funky password, and you can start typing away. And um, most people aren't going to be able to read it. I'm pretty sure, but U.S. government probably can't. That is pretty much it. There were some really cool things like um, it would, you click on this and it would grab a screenshot and then encrypt it and send the file. I don't think any of the file transfer stuff works anymore because I don't think I've got that on my server. And random password, that's pretty simple. Look at that, see? Random password. Woo 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 woo. Big, big, big flipping deal. This, this secure random key exchange is a, basically the same thing as clicking random password and then clicking synchronized passwords. And we have lock and see hide password, fancy. Safe password makes it so that it saves the password for every single window. So if I'm talking to this dude up here, right, right here, I'm talking to him, but I pull up another window, I'm talking to somebody else, it'll have a different password for that person's window, see? And here I am talking to a person in uh, the old Windows Messenger. I haven't, I don't know, not, not the new one. I did do some stuff to make it work with the new one, but I don't know that it actually works. But if I go to my Elite thing, Look, see his password is different than the other dude's password, which is here. Different passwords because it's a different window. 
You know, I'm going to see if I can expand that a little bit. Okay, see, there we go. See, one window and the other window. So, ta-da and ta-da. Now I'm going to click on this little standard button, closes everything down. This one, it keeps everything big and open because it, it's, if you know VP coding, it essentially has a standard form and it creates a new instance of it every time and it latches it on. And uh, here, I'll do a test. See, testing, it's not encrypted. Now, enable, um, encryption is enabled, testing, and encrypted it. And it clicks in. And that is it. Now, the next step, I'm going to go and find all the source code for this thing. I'm going to take all, all these files here, wrap it up in a zip. Um, I'll try and find the source code I've got for the, the um, C code, which uh, basically is just a global keyboard hook. And wrap it up, and there you go. I probably should put some sort of disclaimer saying if you don't care about any of this stuff and you just want it for free, to just download it and play with it.